Christmas 1, Year A. From the Epistle to the Galatians, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, in the name of that Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this morning are practically bursting with excess. Isaiah sees the earth bringing forth its shoots, and he realizes that the Lord God will likewise cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. Isaiah's heart goes out to Jerusalem, and he says, For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until her vindication shines out like the dawn, and her salvation like a burning torch. Knowing himself to be extravagantly blessed, Isaiah seeks to share that blessing with others, crying out for God's righteousness and praise to spring up for those who cannot cry out for it on their own behalf. Our psalmist looks around at all the material blessings that God has given his people, and he calls to the people to sing to the Lord with thanksgiving and make music to our God upon the harp, for God's power and God's wisdom, and for the favor that God has shown to his people in the revelation of his judgments. In both our epistle and our gospel, we hear the call to cry out in testimony. Paul reminds the Galatians and us that when we call upon God as our Father, we are bearing witness to the fact that God has adopted us as children. If we believe that we are God's children, we ought to live like heirs rather than slaves, relying with confidence on God's assistance rather than in fear of his punishment. The Gospel of John portrays John the Baptist as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. The Word was in the beginning with God, but the Word was spoken into the world because it was not enough for God simply to love what was God. The love of God is too great to be reserved only for God. No, God breathed that love outward, expressed that love in the Word through which all things came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. If that love, that word, was too great for God to keep it to God's self, who are we to keep silent? For we have received him and believed in his name, and to us has he given power to become the children of God. In the name of our God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.